Let's take a look at Jackson Pollock. Tips and Techniques. Let's take a look at Jackson Pollock. Tips and Techniques. Pollock is described using household paints instead of artist paints as a natural growth out of a need. He used hardened brushes, sticks and even basting syringes as paint applicators. His method, Pollock technique of pouring and dripping paint, is thought to be one of the origins of the term action painting. He used large canvases on the floor so that he could move his body around all four sides of the artwork. You can do the same. Find an old canvas, cloth, board or even a door. He used synthetic resin based paints called alkyd enamels which at the time was a novel medium. In 1951, he used darker colors painted in black on primed canvases. These paintings have been referred to as his black pourings, and when he exhibited them at the Betty Parsons Gallery in New York, none of them sold. Later, Pollock moved to a more commercial gallery by returning to using color and figurative elements. In 1960s, Jackson Pollock was, again, viewed as one of the most important figures in the art world and one of the innovators of the avant-garde styles that were beginning to emerge. Yes, a challenge may also present as an opportunity. Technique Perfecting technique Paints were liquid enough so that he could easily drip the paint onto his canvases the stripping method allowed him to make energetic works. By moving your hand or body around and along the canvases, using brushes and sticks, or basing syringes, paint application can be used to create large, amazing works of art. Here are some examples of his works. Researchers compared thick liquid like honey which tends to curl upwards in a stack before spreading. What we found is that he moved his hand at a sufficiently high speed and sufficiently short height so that this coiling could not occur. Zenek said, although it looks like abstract, once you study the paintings you realize that the patterns reflect nature and are mathematical structures. This strangers will wear off and I think we will discover the deeper meanings in modern art. Quote by Jackson Pollock. I hope you feel inspired. Now go ahead, experiment and create. Make one of your own unique pieces and works of art. Thank you.